The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real-Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash miamohsenzia. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit our line at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest book from Mia Motion Zia, award-winning author. We no time for love called Missing. It's about a book about uh, true love where one goes missing as they go through four countries and two events and more. You can check out the book on Amazon and other retailers. Also, you can check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com. You can also um, listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 30 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a terrific quartet, and we've got half of the quartet ahead of us with us today here and basically they're very very powerful and one's in new york one's in los angeles and they have been um just the the voices behind many many great legends like frankie valley the beach boys manhattan transfer also performed uh in a lot of u.s cities for uh, mainly u.s presidents prince william the duke of cambridge and a lot more and have also sang in washington dc quite a number of times and um also sang with the london symphony and have been all over the world just backing up the greatest talents and live ladies and gentlemen from the plus studios in los angeles and new york cross country ladies and gentlemen landon beard and brian brigham they call themselves the modern gentlemen guys good morning good afternoon good evening thanks for joining us today hey there hey mike go on well, we're doing great up here. So you guys are basically um, a, a, a super quartet. You've been the voices behind Frankie Valley, play with the Beach Boys, Manhattan Transfer. You also performed for many U.S. presidents, also Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, and also um, been in the uh, R- London Symphony Orchestra, Royal Albert Hall. I mean, just countless. And uh, you've been all over the place. And before we get into all that, and you also have a special uh, project that's coming up around Christmas time. And before we get into all that, tell, you, tell us how you first got started. Um, well, we 
Uh, I'm originally from the Southern California area, as uh, three out of the four of these guys are, and we all were um, professional singers working around town, um, had all uh, either worked with each other already or, or at least knew of each other, um, just with that sort of networking world. And, uh, and then when uh, Frankie Valley originally needed um, four new singers to um, provide all those harmonies alongside of him um, with all those great songs, uh, he had a bunch of us come in and, and sing. And um, Brian and myself both got hired. That was back in 2003. And, um, and then subsequently his brother, Brandon, and then uh, this other guy, Todd, uh, joined the group. And that was sort of the quartet for well over a decade. Um, and we toured everywhere with, with Frankie and the Four Seasons. Um, and then subsequently after that, Jersey Boys was written, um, which became a huge uh, Broadway musical and then a movie and, and everything like that. So then his popularity just skyrocketed, which allowed us to therefore travel all over the world and, um, and perform everywhere and continue to sort of work on who we were, the four of us together. Mm -hmm. And, and then Brian, you can also uh, pitch on some of your story as well, too. Yeah. So, I mean, during our time with Frankie Valley in the group, we got to share the stage with some of those acts, like you mentioned, with the Beach Boys. We we're on a dual bill with them. So, you know, we would open one day or they would open the other day and we'd kind of be on the same uh, on the same bill, which is a lot of fun and get to share the stage with the Manhattan Transfer. So that's how that came about. And like you said, uh, we've had some great experiences since on our own, like working uh, all over the world, especially uh, in the UK quite a bit. Uh, with Prince William uh, one time. So that was a lot of fun for us. <laughs> and what's it like performing for uh, Prince William? Really? Fun. He's the coolest guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we were walking to this uh, club in, in London and we had no idea where we were going or, you know, much about the place. So, you know, a typical gig, they bring us through the kitchen, you know, you're walking through uh, and then you're, then you get exposed to the public and you're making your way backstage. We see a group of, uh, of gentlemen sitting in the corner and uh, somebody gets up from their table, it's dark, and they say, hey, uh, bring your A game, I'm going to be watching. And we look over, and Prince William stands up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, so he yeah, just, our, our, yeah. our, our, like, ladies and gentlemen, the future king of England. And we're like, wow. right, yeah. So he, <laughs> yeah. So he gets up, he, uh, he walks backstage with us and shakes all of our hands. He's like, I'm going to be in the front row watching you all, so don't mess up, you know, basically. So he, <laughs> the show's going on and having a great time, and it, it was just, it was one of those bucket, uh, bucket list moments for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, he's, go ahead. He's, not one to, he's not one to really, like, open up a lot. I mean, he definitely has a, a level of decorum that he always needs to keep, but um, he, he had fun. He was dancing and singing with us and, and things like that. It was really, really great to see. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and of course, uh, you can imagine God save the queen and get out there and break a leg. So, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what's it like performing with uh, Frankie Belly, especially being on a road? What's it like with him? It's, Go, Brian. Yeah, it's been great. I mean, obviously, uh, it's, you know, he's the reason we got together as a quartet. So, learning from one of the greatest that has ever done it and having that career of 60 plus years, it was a great foundation for us to learn from and kind of just. Uh, always be together as a group and sing and learn about harmonies and different styles of music, everything back from like the, the four freshmen to the high lows and his favorite Sinatra and so forth. So to be a part of that legacy was uh, real special for me personally. I know the rest of the guys as well. Mm -hmm. We also wound up because we were, because we were a quartet, that's kind of his favorite type of music, that sort of tight harmony stuff. Um, I always say we became his train set. You know, so he would go like, can you sing this and you sing that and you do this? And, and then he'd, he'd, you know, have us do things and then create a blend and go, no, 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 up lower, you know. And um, and he'd, he'd kind of play around with us musically. And that was, I mean, what, what a what a great learning experience for us, for sure. Mm -hmm. and, and you also had uh, performed with the London Symphony Orchestra and also um, Michael McDonald, Patti LaBelle, Capital Fourth. And, um, and, and you also... Um, and I'm just trying to think. It's like, I think the list is so long. Maybe just uh, tell us about some of those and maybe some they haven't mentioned. Maybe some interesting stories behind all that. Yeah, well, especially, I mean, I would say being back again in the UK is probably one of our favorite experiences together as a group, especially with Frankie. One of the, the first times we uh, got to do a full UK tour and play in some of these amazing venues like Royal Albert Hall. Uh, and that's how we got to share the stage with the London Symphony Orchestra. Uh, the, the very first time I think we played there, uh, it was a special moment for all of us, to be sure, especially Frankie hasn't been back in so many years 
uh, prior to that. So when we first got off the stage after that rush that you feel, I mean, he was kind of in tears. We were in tears and we we're all hugging each other. Like, this is awesome. Thank you. And you know, those kind of moments were, were special for us. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll add on your, uh, if, if you're any sort of rock and roll fan, um, our tour manager came out to us and um, this was before our, our opening night at Royal Albert hall that we were doing a long run there. And uh, he, he comes up to us and he says, uh, you know, all right, gentlemen, get out there and, and have a great show. Uh, oh, by the way, and uh, that top balcony, uh, Jimmy Page is here. So just enjoy yourself. And, <laughs> so, of course, we have two guitar players in the group. They're immediately going nuts. And all of us are just losing our minds. And uh, and uh, oddly enough, I think he got up. He wanted to sort of beat the, beat the crowd. but So he got up like during the encore. And he was backstage before even we were. So we all walked off stage. And, uh, and, you know, Frankie's still shaking hands with people on, on stage, but the four of us leave early and we're just standing there with Jimmy Page and he's like, gents, this is great. You all look great. You know I mean? He was just, he was so kind. And we sat there and just chopped it up with, you know, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> God. And, and everybody now, everybody now. Yeah, Come on. Yeah. 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 Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's a lot of those moments over the years. So it's, it was really special to be a part of that, that whole band for so many years to get to see things that uh, most people in our generation didn't get a chance to do. So, uh-huh. and, and also we'll talk about your Christmas special and especially how you guys got started individually, but first listen to the Mike Widener show at the Mike Widener show.com powered by sound web studios, visit online at sound web studios.com for only needs look at professional web- Website without breaking your budget, Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener show can be heard on the mikewidenershow.com and over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener show on Instagram and Twitter today and check out um, award-winning author Mian Boshin Zia, the No Time for Love King called Missing. It's about um, two two people finding each other and going through uh, four countries, two strangers and one target where one can go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers nationwide as well. We're here with Landon Beard and Brian Brigham of The Modern Gentleman here on the Mike Widener Show and talked about the, the experiences of touring with Frankie Valley and, of course, you know, with the London Symphony Orchestra, Michael McDonald, Manhattan Transfer, and a lot more. And uh, before we talk about uh, one of your Christmas projects, and um, Brian, tell us how you first got started in, uh, in the business. Wow. Uh, well, I was, I kind of went, uh, I was later in the business, actually. I, I really got involved mainly in high school. Uh, I was mainly an athlete growing up, so I played a lot of sports. Uh, and surprisingly, in my school, a lot of the athletes were kind of getting into the boys' choir. So that was kind of my foot in uh, a little bit. So I started singing in that, and it was kind of one thing led to another. Uh, it was uh, a lot of fun. Uh, I got to go to an awesome college program, and that was my first taste of traveling abroad and getting to see the world and it just the world opened up at that point. And I said, this is what I want to do. And uh, quickly uh, being in Southern California, like most of us do, we get into regional theater or work in theme parks or try to get the acting roles and all those things. So uh, we each kind of found each other working in those kind of those different avenues. Mm-hmm. And what was that one moment that price precisely influenced you in what you're doing today? Oh man. Uh, well, I mean, I, 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 that's a, that's a good question. I, I probably uh, influenced, um, I saw a lot of concerts probably growing up and then getting to getting to, I guess I was really shy, I guess, really growing up. So I, I guess that first moment where somebody said, Hey, you should really do this or just having that mentor or a teacher probably just saying, Hey, uh, you got a good voice. You should really pursue this. Something, just the little things like that are, are educators. Uh-huh. And, and who are some of your favorite artists, singers, and musicians growing up? So many. Uh, I love, I love the oldies too. I love Sinatra. Um, I loved, Man, I love, we'll see, you know, we're kids of the 80s. So I, I grew up listening to all the, you know, George Michael and, but everything like uh, Stevie Wonder, the, you name it, all over. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, that sounds amazing as well, too. And Landon, you've been with the group for a while. And uh, tell us how you got started in the business. Um, I was <clears throat> thrust into it from birth, really. Um, both my parents are professional musicians um, by trade and uh, both singers they met on tour on the road uh, themselves and then um, my dad 
uh, went on to, he moved to Los Angeles and became a writer and a producer. And um, my mom sang a lot of like studio session work, things like that. And um, so it's, it's always just been a part, been a part of me. Um, so yeah, I can't, uh, I, I can't remember a day when, when music w was not uh, in, in the house or, or even beyond in the house, something that I was even doing like professionally. Um, from, from the second that I'd say like that my dad could monetize me and be like, oh, would they need like a, a four-year-old little kid sound or whatever? We'll oh, get wow. my son to come in and do it, you know, those kinds of things. So I started at a very early age. I think I did my first commercial for Kodak at like five wow. and uh, kind of continued doing that forever. So, mm -hmm. well, yeah. So. When, when he talks about uh, being thrust, it makes you think it's like as, as, soon, as soon as you came out of birth, you're like, son, you're going to show business. I can imagine. That's this. right. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they slapped me and I, and I, I cried, but it was a nice sound. They, they, they liked the way it sounded. So. <laughs> and, and let me guess, that was that one precise moment that just said, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Yeah. No, I mean, again, like I, it's, it's funny. I've never really questioned whether I was going to do anything different. And, and here I am, you know, now a little bit older and I go, I wonder if this actually is what I want to do with my life. <laughs> it's what I've been doing with my life for a, a few decades now, but um, you know, yeah, it's just, it's all, always been, always been a part of me. It sounds like an amazing as well too, an amazing time you've had. And um, also who are some of your favorite uh, actors, singers, and musicians growing up? Oh man. Uh, gosh, I loved, um, I, I loved, well, I loved Toto growing up. I, we have the, the band Toto. Uh, I have, I have recordings of me at, at three years old when Rosanna first was, uh, I'm dating myself when Rosanna first came out on the radio and, uh, and I'm, I'm singing along to that on a microphone. So that was a, a huge, uh, huge inspiration. Uh, the Eagles, Doobie Brothers, Kenny Loggins, all, all of that era is, is a big, big influences on me. Mm -hmm. and, and, and now that you mentioned totals, everybody is singing the mess in the rains in Africa. It's like that big song they had last year with journey. Don't stop believing the feel good song. Everybody right. sing about Africa, about Toto. I can imagine it right now. So, <laughs> Oh yeah. And, yeah. and I, and also, too, we're going to talk about uh, your latest song, You Make It Feel Like Christmas, and more of your projects as well. But first, listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention The Mike Widener Show get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on themikewidenershow.com. Also, check out The Mike Widener Show on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take The Mike Widener Show on any mobile device. Subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with Landon Beard and Brian Brigham of The Modern Gentleman here on The Mike Widener Show, touring with Frankie Valley, also with the uh, London Symphony Orchestra, also the Beach Boys, Manhattan Transfer, and a lot more. And you've got a big uh, Christmas song that's coming out along with um, some other Christmas tunes. And you got You Make It Feel Like Christmas. We'll be playing that song for our audio listeners out there. And tell us more about the song and um, what inspired you guys to write it. Well, we were, we were actually approached um, by a, a producer and a songwriter out of Nashville um, <clears throat> who was made aware of us and and uh he kind of he kind of called brian and myself and just said uh like i i think we should do an album i uh, we can get you a distribution deal and and let, let's get you out there let's do it um and uh it was one of those like the call was on friday and we were going to start on monday wow. um and uh he he flew out uh three songwriters from nashville to los angeles where we were recording and uh, basically gave each one of them um, the, the job of, of writing an original tune. Um, and so this one was actually the product of, of uh, three out of the four of them sort of collaborating together to, to create this single. Uh, they, they wrote it independently of us. We were, we were dealing with other things, getting ready to go in and record and all that. So they handled the writing side of things. Um, and uh, they, they, they wrote this original. It was written by... Um, 
uh, Robbie Neville, who actually was like a, a radio chart topper himself. Um, and then uh, this guy, Steve Diamond, who wrote, um, I mean, he had big hits um, for Faith Hill, uh, Vince Gill, All for One. He wrote a, a pretty big hit for Springsteen way, way back in the day, um, things like that. So we were honored to have, have those guys write something for us. And mm. So that's what uh, you make it feel like Christmas is. That is amazing. And Brian, uh, you can add something to it if you like, or maybe just elaborate a little more. Yeah, no, that's how that's he, he explained it perfectly. That's how we kind of uh, came about. And we had about a week to do 11 songs. So we, wow. really, we pumped it out. But uh, we got to record it in the Village Studios uh, in Santa Monica, California. Uh, just a legendary, iconic studio. I think they built the studio for Fleetwood Mac. Uh, mm-hmm. It was just an incredible experience just to be in the same studio as some of these amazing artists. Mm-hmm. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah. It, it sounds like a lot of fun. And uh, how about some of the other Christmas tunes from the albums? Maybe you can just uh, pick a few and highlight as well. Yeah, we all came to, together with this project when we were talking to the producer and we, we all kind of um, put our input in there and just our, like our favorite Christmas tunes. Like you pick three, I'll pick three and we'll just see what kind of comes about and sticks. So uh, one of the ones that I, I wanted to do was kind of more of a vocal jazz heavy type tune, which is the, really the, uh, the challenging one, I would say, of the album, which is Happy Holiday. We kind of did it in the vein of the Manhattan Transfer, who we uh, uh, really look up to. So um, we took that on and that was uh, one of, probably one of my favorite tracks that we've done in the, the project. That is amazing. Landon? Um, yeah, I mean, we, like, like Brian said, we, we tried to find, um, I guess what I would say, uh, holiday songs, um, sort of, you know, specifically ones that, ones that could be like a nice umbrella for, for everybody to listen to um, and, uh, and, and just, and pick those. So we had, we had three that were originals and then um, we had, uh, I mean, uh, a little bit more modern tunes like uh our version of like Mariah Carey's all I want for Christmas is you that everybody hears all year long. Oh um, gosh. And I think I, and I think it's playing in my head as we speak here. Not you mentioned it. <laughs> it's, it's everywhere. Um, but then classics like, uh, like um, winter wonderland and, uh, and I'll be home for Christmas and things like that. So um, yeah, it, it was nice. Uh, I think it's a nice kind of mixture of um the three originals have a little bit more of a contemporary pop sound to it. S- slightly contemporary, not, it's not your hip hop tracks or anything like that, but, and then, and then some of them are, are really like classic sort of jazz trio um, and, and just real, real sweet and nice. Um, as uh, Brian has said before, it's a, it's a kind of a great line. We, we want to make this album appeal to anybody from two to 92, you know? Here to 92, it sounds like uh, Chestnuts Roasting on Open Fire. Exactly. <laughs> and, and where can we find the album at? Uh, you can find it at our website, obviously, uh, www.themoderngentleman.net. Uh, definitely, you got to put the the before the modern gentleman, or it might take you elsewhere. <laughs> but uh, definitely, <laughs> <laughs> so themoderngentleman.net, and we're on social media, Facebook, um and instagram at the modern gentleman and we're on iTunes all the streaming downloading forums since apple music yeah. spotify look for the modern gentleman and we're certainly looking forward to that we're here with Landon Beard and Brian Brigham of the modern gentleman here on the Mike Wagner show a very big thank you for your time you guys have been great looking forward to having you on soon in 2021 and just a few more moments here and what do you what can we expect from you guys in 2021 and beyond well, uh, I, I will say we, we took a lot of this sort of quarantine time and we started working on our, uh, I, I guess I wouldn't call it a holiday album, our like second, our sophomore album. It's kind of a separate, you know, subgenre. So uh, we've recorded our, our sophomore album now uh, that we're really, really proud of. Um, we've taken this whole time to really get it, get it to where we want it to be. So we're going to, we're going to hold that one. We're going to put that in our back pocket for a little bit. And then when the timing is right, hopefully when the when sort of the country can open back up a little bit, um, then, then we'll, we'll release that and look forward to uh, better days ahead. And, yep. it's, and certainly will indeed. And who do you consider your biggest influences in your careers? Uh, obviously Frankie was, was one he's, you know, been there for us. Um, I, I, we all have our favorite or our different uh, artists that we've, we loved, obviously Landon told you his and mine. And so there, there's a, there's a slew of them. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the best advice you guys you guys can give to anybody at this point? Oof. Do 
figure out what it is that you love and keep doing that because it's a, it's a really, if you're going to be it sort of at all in this business, cause it's a, it's a tough road. And so you, you have to love what you're doing every day. Otherwise it, you know, it's, it's rough, but, but if you love it, you're not going to have a bad day. Mm -hmm. I need to be humble to everyone. And that's very important as well, too. Once again, Landon Beer, Brian Brigham with the Marlin Gentleman here on the Mike Wagner Show. Guys, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or listen to music, especially your new album? It's out now. It came out December 4th, Friday. So it's everywhere. Uh, find us, moderngentleman.net. At the Modern Gentleman, Facebook and Instagram. Yep, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, or anywhere you look, you'll see us. We will certainly do that, guys. A very big thank you for your time. Be absolutely great. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor, keep us up to date. Love you back on in twenty twenty one and beyond. And don't forget to stay in touch as well and say hi to Frankie for us. Thank you. We'll do. Happy holidays. Got the fire burning and the stockings up Hot chocolate in a Santa Claus cup I'm so excited that it's almost Christmas time Almost Christmas Decorating, putting angels on the tree Loving being here with family St. Nick's coming and it's almost Christmas time The snow is falling and the sea is set A favorite time of year I can't imagine a more perfect gift than having you here Cause you make it feel like Christmas Every time you smile And you make it feel like Christmas And it seems so right You're everything I need To make this holiday complete Cause you make it feel like 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 like Christmas There's Christmas carols on the radio Kids are making angels in the snow so excited that it's almost Christmas time. Almost Christmas time. Sleigh bells ringing and the cookies bake. Just around the corner, I can't wait. So excited that it's almost Christmas time. The snow is falling and the sea is set. My favorite time of year. Can't imagine I'm a perfect gift than having you here Because you make it feel like Christmas Every time you smile You make it feel like Christmas And it seems so right You're everything I need To make this holiday complete Cause you make it feel like 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 Christmas you make everything so sweet Feel like you make it feel like you make it feel like you make it feel like Chris
Christmas. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real-Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash Mia Mohsen Zia. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. 